Hi guys, Macy here. Welcome back to my channel. So happy you could join me today. I am getting over a cold, so I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet, and we're gonna start off talking about what sold. I'm going to go over the dates of December 5th through the 11th. This is the week that I was on vacation, so I don't have very many sales to go over. So the second part of this video will be accepting a challenge that was presented to me called SARS, which stands for Support a Reseller This Holiday Season, and I'll go into all the details involving that little challenge right after I go over my sales. Before I get into anything, if it is your first time to my channel, sorry you have to get a little bit low energy Macy this time around, but just so you know who I am, I am a full-time fashion reseller and on this channel I put out reselling content to help you succeed in your reselling business. So if that sounds like something that interests you, feel free to hit subscribe down below and tap that notification bell so that you know next time I put out a new video. I like to do these what sold videos every Monday and then usually one or two other times during the week I'll have some other reselling related content for you, whether it's tips and tricks for Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, any of the sites I sell on, um, or it's a thrift with me or a work with me or a challenge, who knows? I can be doing any sort of things those other days. But today we're going over some sales, so let me start out with that. So this week of sales was almost non-existent. I had all of my stores on vacation mode. The only one that was still making sales was eBay because you can set eBay to time away where eBay updates the handling time for all the listings so that you can still ship whenever you return without any penalties on, from eBay and people can still purchase from you. They just will get a message that you are away and will be shipping after a certain date. Everything else was on pause and so you'll see sales for all the other platforms starting again next week. But let's get into the few sales that I do have. The first was a Wild Fox Gray Graphic Flaming Fire Rose Sweater in a size small. It sold on eBay for $31.94 after eBay fees and shipping fees. I made a profit of $21.24. It took 127 days to sell and that was a consignment item. So $13.49 went on to my consignee. I got this off of the Flip app. You can pick up consignment lots to resell the items for a profit for you and for your client. If you have not yet tried out Flip, I do have a referral link for it in the description down below. This sweater did take a little while to sell. I got a couple of Wild Fox sweaters from this particular Flip lot. This is the second one to have sold. I still have one available. It's, they all have different graphics. I'm not sure how I feel about Wild Fox sweaters. I am trying to get a decent price out of them because they are pretty pricey originally. Um, but I guess the resale value is, uh, I don't know. It's decent but it takes them a little bit of time to sell, it seems like. The next thing to sell was a cachet animal print waistband black pants in a size six. They sold on eBay for $20.94. I made a profit of $10.68 and they took 112 days to sell. I've had these for a little while, so I have been lowering the price on them quite a bit. Um, I only paid a dollar for them at a Goodwill Dollar Day, so I'm pretty happy to see these move. I don't know if I would pick them up again. I do have a pretty good time with some cachet pieces, but a pair of mostly plain dress pants just might not be the type of item that I need to be selling by cachet. I've made really good profit on some maxi length cachet dresses and some more fun pieces like that. Going to try to be more careful in the future with what I pick up from cachet. The next sale was a J. Crew cream cable knit long sleeve sweater in a size small. It sold on eBay for $35.94. I made a profit of $22.89 and it took 258 days to sell. Kind of surprised at how long that took to sell. I believe I got that sweater off of a flip lot that I ended up doing a buyout for after the consignment period ended. So I had a cost of goods there of $10.09, which if you want to deduct that cost of goods from the profit I already stated, then you'll get my profit after cost of goods. If you watched my what sold video from last week, I believe you'll recall a Gap sweater that looked very similar to this one that sold around the same price. So now is the time of year to sell these type of sweaters if you're able to find any or if you have any 
that you haven't listed yet, it's definitely the cable knit sweater season. People are scooping these bad boys up. And the last sale I want to tell you guys about, that's right, only four sales, <laughs> is a Zara blue and white striped smocked mini dress in a size small. It's sold on eBay for $32.94. I made a profit of $24.65 and it took 56 days to sell. I debated whether I wanted to pick this up or not because I was like, Zara is so tricky to sell sometimes and I'm just not sure if this has enough style features going for it to get it to sell for a decent price. Plus it wasn't on sale, it would have been a full price pickup at $5.29. So I debated it, I looked it up. I found enough comps that gave me confidence and I was like, all right, we're going to give it a chance. So I did get it and it ended up doing pretty good. Sold in less than 60 days for $33. That's exactly what I'm looking for whenever I'm paying $5.29 for something. I think what really helped this item in particular sell is that I found the stock photo for it and I feel like that really elevated it to the next level because whenever I was just looking at it on the hanger it just didn't seem that appealing to me but whenever I saw it actually on a person I was like oh this actually is super cute and somebody might want this. I actually whenever I first got it I wasn't sure if it was a dress or a top so the fact that it was in fact a mini dress um, also helped it sell for more money because you can get more money for a dress than a top typically. I'm glad I only have a few sales to share with you guys because I'm currently breathing out of like one nostril right now. <laughs> I, it's so annoying. It's been like this for a few days now where it's just like it'll be like this side I can breathe and then it'll switch and it'll be like this side I can breathe but it's never both sides I can breathe at the same time. It was a little bit earlier today and now it's back to just one. It's funny because I used to get colds all the time, um, but since 2020 <laughs> I stopped leaving the house for the most part and then all of a sudden for pretty much all of 2020 I don't think I got one cold or any type of sickness at all and now 2021 and I'm leaving the house and when you know colds are back. Are you guys having this problem too? Let me know down below. Okay let's get into this support a reseller this holiday season. Source. <laughs> I really like that acronym. It's kind of it's kind of silly. I like it. So this challenge was started by Johnny, otherwise known as Cajun Roots Reseller on YouTube. If you've not checked him out, make sure to check out his channel. I'll have it linked below and also in the little icon thing up in the top corner. Remember you can click that at any point in that top corner to see all the things that I link throughout the video. And true to its theme, it's just a feel good little holiday challenge where he nominated some people and told people to shop their closets and encouraged them to make a video shouting out 10 items that they want to sell, put it out into the world, and then have them also nominate uh, for other people so that those people could get their items possibly sold and so forth. So I was nominated by Chloe from Coverly Chaos. If you have not seen her channel, I will also have it linked. And she's just super fun and energetic and I don't think you can go and watch a Coverly Chaos video and not smile during some portion of it. Usually within the first minute for me, I'm smiling and like just wishing I had the amount of energy that Chloe has because she just seems so much fun and I wish I could meet her in real life and just hang out because I'm sure that we would have a good time together. But she's very real in her videos and I love watching them because you know, you're getting an honest take from a girl. So go check her out after you're done with this video if you want to. One last thing about this challenge before I get into my 10 items is that you're encouraged to give a discount code of some sort to give people a discount if they want to purchase from your closet. So my discount code is for 40% off anything in my closet excluding boutique intimates. That's the only category that is excluded from the sale. Everything else is 40% off using the code OWL. Uh, fun fact about me, owls are my favorite animal. I usually have a little owl sitting beside me on this desk. Right now it's a snowman because uh, holidays, hello. But I love owls. I have owl ornaments all over my Christmas tree right now. I just think they're super cute and I don't know just my fave. So if you go into Poshmark and you either comment on an item or you add an item to your bundle and you comment owl, um, I will give you 40% off or you can even send me 
you know, an offer that's 40% off the asking price and I'll go ahead and accept it if you just write the word owl in the comments section. All right, let's go over these 10 items real quick. Okay, so number one is a blue and gray soft ribbed cowl off the shoulder neck sweater. This thing is ridiculously soft. I was like, oh, can I just keep you? It's a size large, it's in great condition. I love the style of this sweater. I think it looks really cute and it's perfect for this time of year. Lou and Gray always makes the softest stuff. You know whenever you run into a Lou and Gray sweater because it's just like, this material feels amazing. Number two is a Tadashi Shoji lace ball gown in a size 10P. I saw someone at a wedding that I went to recently wearing a dress very similar to this and oh my gosh, she was stealing the show. <laughs> I was like, I nominate her for best dressed at this wedding because oh my gosh, other than the bride of course, but there's just something about that beige lining with the black lace over top that just speaks my language. Like gorgeous, it looks so good. So if you have any sort of party coming up or wedding coming up that you're a guest for, this could be the dress for you. Number three is a pair of Chaser rainbow tie-dye sweatpants in a size small. This is my first time selling a pair of Chaser sweatpants. I absolutely love the print. I think it's really fun. And you know tie-dye is all the rage right now. It does have pockets, win. And I don't know about you, but I am just living in athleisure right now. Sweatpants and sweatshirts are just my jam. So if you're in need of another pair of sweatpants, here they are. <laughs> Number four is a Happy X Nature ultra high rise seamed boyfriend jeans in a size 25. These are so on trend. Oh my gosh. They have a button fly. They're super high rise. They got that cool boyfriend fit. Like what more could you ask for? If you like wearing crop tops, this is the perfect jeans to pair with those. And if you don't know, Happy X Nature is no longer in business anymore. It was a Kate Hudson sustainable fashion line and they made some super cute stuff but pretty pricey um and i think the pandemic might have just uh killed them off but regardless you can still find their stuff on poshmark so if you like their style make sure to check out the other stuff by happy x nature because you can't find it online anymore it doesn't exist number five for you guys is a marona gray infinity cowl neck scarf it's one size fits all, it's gray, it's soft, it's fluffy. If you don't have a go-to scarf yet for your winter wardrobe, here it is because this thing has never been worn. It is new without tags. Number six is an Anthropology Saturday Sunday velvet midi dress in a size small. I don't know why this hasn't sold yet. I've had this for a little while and I just think it's gorgeous. This is exactly the type of dress that I would wear around this time of year because it's fitted at the bust, it flares out, it's this soft velvet material, short sleeves. It just looks like it would flatter the body so nicely. And I don't know about you, but I just adore this burgundy color. I have so many things in burgundy. I love it so much. Number seven for you guys, we got a Free People waffle knit top with embroidered crochet cuffs. Free People is a known for these thermal tops and boy do they resell well. I absolutely love it whenever I'm able to find one of these. This is actually a consignment item that I am trying to get rid of before the consignment period ends. So if you want to help me out by picking up a uh, Free People thermal, this is the one. Next up at number eight, we have a Scotch and Soda Velvet Corduroy Mini Wrap Skirt in a size large. This is new with tags, people, and I tried to pick out something that would be good for New Year's Eve. I think this is it because it's got that silver shine to it. It has this cute bow on the side. It's this really nice velvet material again, and it would just go so well with so many different tops. This has gotten a lot of attention in my closet. It has been one of my most liked items. Every time I relist it, it gets like nine more likes. Fingers crossing that it'll sell soon. And number nine, guys, I got another sweater for you. This is a Madewell Kent Knit Duster Cardigan in the coziest yarn with pockets. What more could you ask for? I love a good go-to cardigan sweater, and I think this one would be perfect if you don't already have one for your wardrobe because it's a nice neutral color, can go with so many different things. It's warm, it's soft, 
it has pockets <laughs> it's a great length you'll feel good whether you're hanging out at home in it or going out and about so i thought i would throw this one in here and number 10 we have a pair of marvel by her universe jeans in a size 18 they are patch jeans, so they have patches for the Avengers all over it. It has like the Captain America shield and Thor's hammer and the A on the Avengers tower and you have an Iron Man and a Hulk and all sorts of stuff. If you are going to Megacon or Comic-Con or some other con <laughs> coming up in the spring, then these are the jeans for you because what's better for a con than Avengers patchwork jeans. Or if you want to look stylish to go to see Spider-Man No Way Home, then maybe these are the jeans for you too. It's funny because I just went with John two nights ago to see Spider-Man. We went to the drive-in, which I was a little concerned because it's winter time and I've never tried going to the drive-in at winter, but we saw someone there with a hat on with like a little Spider-Man logo on the front and I was like, look, 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 look because he was all dressed up for the Spider-Man movie and I thought that was cool. It ended up not being too bad. My side of the car got all steamed up which is what I was mostly concerned about because I was like I'm not gonna be able to see out the windshield if it's all steamy but for some reason John's side didn't get all steamed up so we tried putting down the windows a little bit which helped a little bit but what actually helped was John at some point took a tissue and wiped it on my side and it just like removed the steam so that's all we had to do and then I could see the whole movies. It ended up working out fine and I didn't get too cold. It probably didn't help the cold that I already had to be sitting in the cold but I was layered up in a bunch of blankets and stuff so it was pretty cozy. Have you guys seen that yet? What did you think? Let me know down below if you've seen it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. I wish I could re-watch all the Spider-Men. I guess I have to pay for each individual movie because I don't think they're available on any streaming service. Except for like, I saw the Spider-Man 2000 was available on Hulu with, if you have live TV, but then live TV costs like $65 a month, so I'm not doing all that. Anyways, we're not here to talk about Spider-Man and I'm getting very off topic, so. Let me tell you guys about who I am nominating for the Sarths challenge. <laughs> Number one is Megan from Megess's Thrift. If you have not seen Megess's Thrift, you have to go check out her channel. She does thread up unboxings, what sold videos. Um, I think if you like my content, you'll really enjoy her content as well. She does a really good job at reselling and just has a very sweet personality. Go check out Megan and shop her closet. I will have her Poshmark closet linked below along with all the other people that I'm nominating along with linking her channel. Number two is Janine Angolia. I know Janine is trying really hard to grow her YouTube channel so please go check out her channel and give her a subscribe. She does a lot of thrift hauls and she finds just the coolest stuff. She knows how to resell all sorts of things and she just does some really fun things on her channel. She's had me and a bunch of other resellers on her channel to do chats with so make sure to go check those out if you're looking for a little reseller chat to put on the background while you're listing or something. They're really fun. Number three is Chris from Cajun Reseller. I've been watching his videos for a really long time and he also does a really good job reselling. He does what sold videos every single week. He does thrift with me's. He is a pro at plush. If you have ever wanted to try reselling plush, his is the channel to turn to because he has all sorts of videos on it and you can become an expert at reselling plush just like him. And number four is Tina from Resell Royalty. Just like Janine, Tina has also done reseller chats and I have been on her channel as well. So if you've not yet gone over to check out Resell Royalty's channel, make sure to do that. She has such a range of videos for you guys, like all sorts of things that you can check out. So I'm sure you can find something that you enjoy and she has a wonderful personality. She's just a very nice person and it was so much fun talking to her whenever I was on her channel. So those are all the people I want to nominate and I'm going to have all their channels and Poshmark or eBay stores linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. And if you haven't already and you're enjoying my reselling content, please hit subscribe and the little bell next to it. If you want to change that to all, you'll get notifications every time I put out a new video. I should have one more video out at least before Christmas time, but in case I don't see you because who knows where this cold is going. If it 
comes back full swing in the next few days. I might not have another video for you guys. I don't know. But I hope that you're all staying happy and safe and healthy. And I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas if I don't see you later. Bye everyone.